the reality is, is there's still a, a person out there who committed four horrible, horrible crimes. I will tell you, we're looking at everyone. Um, we are every tip we get, every lead we get. Look, there's no one that we're not going to talk to. There's no one we're not going to interview. There's no one that we're not going to look into. Although the police chief and other law enforcement officials took questions about the murders, many of those questions were left unanswered. We know you have questions. Yes, so do we. Many people who live in Moscow are frustrated by the lack of or seemingly conflicting information out of police. Fry addressed that during the news conference. I probably should have been standing here a day or so ago. Fry said they are still putting together a timeline of what happened. We learned that Ethan and Vanna were at a party on campus in Madison and Cary by the downtown bar. They arrived home sometime after 1.45. We know it. Officers responded to a 911 call about an unconscious person Sunday at noon. When they got to the house on Queen Road near U of I's campus, they found a four students dead. There was no sign of forced entry into the residence. Our officer said two more minutes were on what happened. He didn't go so far as to call them witnesses, and so 